After six months of digging, construction of the new $1 billion Royal Children's Hospital has officially begun. Caroline Rondo says the Premier and some special patients were there for the first concrete pour. The Premier had help from Kyle and Cameron Bajada, nine-year-old twins who suffer from short gut syndrome, the first crane on site named in their honour. And I understand that was a suggestion that came from uh, some of the workers on site and uh, they're pretty regulars at the hospital. The boys who have difficulty eating and digesting food are two of thousands of Victorian children who will benefit from the new facility once it's complete in 2011. The big thing about this is uh, it's on schedule and when complete it's going to provide just an even higher standard of care. 290,000 cubic metres of soil has been removed, enough to fill 116 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Work on the facade will begin in September, the structure of the inpatient building completed by the end of the year. The new hospital here will treat 35,000 extra patients a year. The hospital will also include a library, a three and a half star hotel, an aquarium and a cinema. 85% of the beds will be in private rooms. Despite opposition claims the new hospital is too small to cope with future patient demand, the government says the new facility is flexible with room to expand. We're very confident that this new $1 billion hospital will be big enough uh, to cope with the demands we'll face. Caroline Rondo, Nine News.